Hello everyone, Nadim here with uh, PCSN. So today we're going to talk about SharePoint Online. Uh, I know last few videos we made around SharePoint, uh, how to migrate data into SharePoint Online. Uh, for a lot of small businesses, it works well. Um, the issue happens um, when the business starts to grow to a certain point, uh, you have a lot of data. And that's what we want to talk about today, uh, because I got this question after the last few videos, hey, why not just use SharePoint for, for everything? Uh, you know, it, it works well, so why not just use it for everything, for every business? Uh, well, there are some limitations in SharePoint Online. There are a few limitations that I'll I'll put on the screen, um, like uh, you have uh, special characters that are not supported. Uh, there's a maximum file upload size, uh, a maximum uh, path limit. So the, the, the whole path of a file, including the name of the file, cannot be beyond uh, a certain number, which is about 400 characters. So, so you can't have uh, the file path, including the file name, longer than 400 characters or it causes problems. Uh, but that's not what causes issues for most businesses. And and we have a few businesses that were small, but then and and, then, and everything was in SharePoint, everything was fine. And then they started growing, and and then they started having problems, and they couldn't really figure out why they were having problems. And this is the thing that catches businesses, especially fast-growing businesses, a lot of times is the 30 million document limit. Uh, and, and and I wouldn't even say 30 million document, I would say 30 million item limit in SharePoint. So as your SharePoint grows, you can always get more capacity in SharePoint. That's not the issue. You can buy more, right? You pay Microsoft and they'll give you more capacity. That's not the problem. The problem is in any SharePoint online uh, document library, you have a limit of 30 million items. And when you hit that 30 million item limit, you cannot pay anybody to get that limit increased. Now, that's the limit. Uh, you're going to have problems way before you reach that limit. Um, you know, I know a lot of places will recommend no more than 300,000 files across libraries for optimum performance. Um, and 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 that is a good number to to go by. Uh, if you start going beyond 300,000, you are going to start seeing that things are starting to slow down and and not really working very well. And, and these limits apply to OneDrive for Business as well, because on the back end for OneDrive for Business, it is again SharePoint. And uh, so keep that in mind: is the 30 million um, item limit per library per document library. Um, that catches uh, a lot of IT companies, MSPs, and IT departments um, uh, off guard because they're they're looking at capacities. They they start to troubleshoot why items are not syncing. Is it is it a problem on the Microsoft side? And, and even Microsoft uh, Tech Help, we've had situations where people have called Microsoft and they couldn't figure out why they were having issues until we started digging in and found out well they were over 30 million items in a library and we were like look you know yeah and and, and you know this customer uh, that i'm giving you the example the example for uh they had about uh, i think seven terabytes total capacity in sharepoint so they paid extra for for uh, storage capacity but they did not even think about the 30 million item limit and that will catch you uh at the most inopportune time so that is the reason why you want to go to Azure files as opposed to migrate into SharePoint online or something like that, uh, because Azure files, you don't have those limits. So uh, hopefully that'll help you out. Decide uh, which uh, technology you want to use. Uh, until next time, everybody have a great day and uh, be safe out there.